<laughs> just waiting here on the seesaw yeah. looking for a partner. <laughs> Two or three. He's a 30 year old man. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Yo, what up? Hey, everybody. We're, uh, we're the Time Strap Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Today. Time Strap Podcast. How was your week, Andy? Uh, wow, good. that was really nice. Matt. <laughs> I planted some grass seed. Wow, no. I want you to expand upon that thought. I've, I've been babying it all weekend. Yeah? As oh, I well. spread my seed throughout the yard. That's nice. That's nice. Um, you better watch out. Mother Earth's not on birth control. <laughs> what, uh, what, you can get a little... Matt babies everywhere, all in the yard. <laughs> oh God! Don't mow. Um, I have a so many thoughts. Uh, this is where your, this is your speedy podcast. Hurry <laughs> I'm up! I'm sorry. Uh, where where are you planting your seed? Is it just front yard, backyard, side yard, neighbor's uh, yard? Pretty much all over. All over. Yeah, hanging out. Mm-hmm. Go to the park, out. spread some seed. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. I definitely bought grass seed for the park. <laughs> I mean, city's not going to do anything. Oh. <laughs> For real though, how's your week, Andy? It was good. I painted my basement. You painted your basement. What color? Uh, well, the woodwork's white, but then the room's gonna be gray. White's a good color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One would almost say the superior color. One would. One would definitely <laughs> say that. Yeah. One would. Probably not in this room, but one would say that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not in this room. Um, my week is fine. I. It's my birthday week coming up. I've got seven days off. Um, oh. So, yeah, just hanging out, living life. Yeah. When you work at a bank, you have, you have, you have to take a mandatory week off so they can uh, catch all the nickels you've been stealing. <laughs> <laughs> that shit adds up, man. Yeah, it did. I mean. <sighs> yeah. Um, over here, yeah, it's, uh, it's also my birthday week. Yeah. So, happy early birthday, Tam. Happy early birthday, buddy. Thanks. Oh, that's nice. I already have the yearly scheduled posts. So. I'm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> they're they're waiting to drop tomorrow and Tuesday. <laughs> Crazy awesome. enough, it's also Julia's birthday yesterday. Ooh, uh-huh. yeah, hey, three in a row. Three in a row. How are you? How are you doing that? What? How are you doing that? Yeah, you plan that? Yeah, you plan that? Is yes. That first date material? Yeah, 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 yeah. I instead of so there's this really neat app where instead of uh, looking at uh, like how nice somebody is. You just look at when their parents fucked. What and then count? Yeah, and then count the with nine their, months. With their preemie, I was born a month early. I'm sure you wouldn't be on the site then. I don't I, know. I was in a hurry, like this podcast. Like this podcast. Get <laughs> me the fuck away. out of here. Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, birthday birthday celebrations. Week off. I'm doing I'm supposed to be doing chores around the house, but one of the days that I was supposed to do chores, I woke up hella late. My phone died. <laughs> I was just like, I'm gonna get up at nine. It's one o'clock. <laughs> Mom's <laughs> gonna be so mad. Oh, she, oh, she, oh, she was. <laughs> really? <laughs> she was so livid. Damn, get your 28 year old ass. I'm gonna be 27, sir. Please. No, no, I'm sorry. My foot's not quite in the grave yet. Your crow's eyes are just a lot. <laughs> You're a lot bigger than I thought. Um. No, you've got youth. Besides that. I've been. It's because I can't grow facial hair. Besides that, I've yeah. just been playing a bunch of card games. A- Andy's finally as old as he's been claiming to be for the last seven years. Yeah, I remember we're at SGC and he's like, "I'm old." I'm like, "You're 25." <laughs> <laughs> I'm now 30. Gross. <laughs> I know. Yeah, gonna Gross. hit 31 in a couple months. <laughs> Yikes! It's disgusting. I can't go to parks for fun anymore. No, no, no. no. Well, not that same kind of fun. <laughs> Hey, just let your kid ride on the swing next to me. No biggie. No, I'm just playing this grass. Don't worry about me. <laughs> just waiting here on the seesaw yeah. looking for a partner. <laughs> Two or three. I'm a 30-year-old <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, uh, what would you say your name was? Gargoyle? All right, Gargoyle. Go get two more of your friends. We're going to seesaw. What's their name? 
gargoyle because dude kids have the weirdest fucking names now. <laughs> you couldn't have picked something normal like sam or clyden with a q <laughs> clyden <laughs> <laughs> all right i guess all right all right beef sandwich and come on <laughs> beef sandwich <laughs> oh jesus i'm beefcake beef sandwich is my father <laughs> <laughs> beefcake jr beefcake jr <laughs> that sounds like a boss in like a nintendo game yes like a like a, a streets of rage type <laughs> yeah. of he comes smashing through the wall <laughs> beefcake jr's beef here oh no <laughs> Dude, speaking of uh, shifting gears back to grass seed. Go ahead. This isn't about grass seed. Oh. Yeah. But because I was planning to get, I am covered in mosquito bites right now. Oh, yeah. Dude, they're so bad this year. Oh, oh my God. You go out at dusk and it's fucking insane. <laughs> and then, like, it's an all you can eat buffet. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking crazy. I'm itching all over. Yeah. And it's hard when, because, like, I got, so I got this, you know, this bag. Both my hands are full. I can't defend myself. <laughs> Here's a. Get a Here's the pro strat. Yeah. Don't go outside ever. <laughs> Solved. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If outside was so cool, we wouldn't have made inside. <laughs> you, you got a good point. So, yeah. uh, so who's dragging you to brunch? My parents. We're doing brunch and then going to see Toy Story, and then I have to play cards tonight. Oh, so you're in for an emotional roller coaster yes, today. Yes, yes. Dinner with my parents is the down, and then mm -hmm. a backup for Toy Story, and, and then, then when I go scrub out at locals, it's... <laughs> yeah. And then the end of Toy Story is going to bring you down again, yeah. but then slightly bring you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's not going to be another fucking incinerator scene. Psych <laughs> is the second one. <laughs> yeah. And, the, and it took this time. Oh, no, yeah. No. That's just how it ends. <laughs> just, I don't know, buddy. The end. When they said they weren't going to be making a, any more numbered toy stores, it's because they killed the whole cast. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of movies, Avengers is going back in yeah. theaters. Fuck and yes. It's, it's how much longer this time? Like uh, six minutes. Yeah, <laughs> so it's just got po two post credit scenes. Really? Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. They didn't add any. Are you serious? No. Yeah. There's no. no it's like, just cutting room floor. It's material. just. It's just two post credit scenes. No fucking way. Yeah. Man, I cannot wait to pay seven dollars to see this movie again. <laughs> I know that's what I said too. I was like, I'm gonna see that again. Plus, it's just a good movie. Yeah, it is. It I is. do think you gotta watch the first one first. You gotta make a day of it. Infinity War. Yeah. 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 What? Like every time you see Endgame, you gotta watch Infinity War. Yeah. That's that's tough. I hear. I hear you. How many times I've seen Infinity War? I feel like I can just close my eyes and it just runs through my head. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Not all. Of, not all of us have like uh, put that decade in time. So hot. You. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> you. Uh, I'm sure. Like you've. You've made it the time though, right? Eventually, you're gonna get caught up, or you're like you're gonna start to watch in, in game and be like, you know what? This was it. I have to watch Infinity War first. <laughs> this was viewing 50, and I'd only watched it 49 times. I gotta go back. I, I mean, I did watch Infinity War before I saw Endgame the first time. That's good. And the I, second time. I, yeah, first I, I, did a, I did a chronological watch through. Of everything? Yeah. Okay. okay. Took, me a, took me a while. I started quite a while before Endgame came out. There's a... Not, not in order of release. Chronological. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, Captain Marvel. Or, no, uh, First Avenger... Followed yeah. by whatever. Captain America followed by Captain Marvel. Yeah. So I had to go to theaters to see Captain Marvel before I could continue my my watch. Captain Mab. There's a uh, there's a podcast I listen to that You son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. Sorry guys, I swing with other podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> um You bitch. <laughs> happens. That's what I said. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just <laughs> reiterating. I'm just agreeing with you. <laughs> um, that took and uh, watched them all leading up to whatever. Uh, to end game. In, uh, not, uh, in, not end game, but uh, Infinity War. Infinity but War. Like uh, ranked and reviewed them all. Mm -hmm. um, really took about an hour to like explain the whole plot again and like went through and told a bunch of goofs. It was some good fucking content. Some good fucking content. We did the chronological before Infinity War. But then before Endgame, I just watched Infinity War again. That makes sense. Yeah. I did the chronological before uh, Halo 4 came out. <laughs> did you play all the games again? Uh, yeah. Well, so it's... <laughs> no, we're <laughs> I just, good. I just get... Andy was like about to sneeze or cough, and I was just bracing for it. And you just hit the sickest dab ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
it's it's Halo Wars, Halo One, Halo Two up until New Mombasa level. Right. Then you have to play Halo Three ODST. Nope. Oh, oh yeah, shit, I got it wrong. Halo Wars, Halo Reach, Halo One, Halo Two up until New Mombasa, Halo Three ODST, the rest of Halo Two, and then Halo Three. That was a long time ago. That's really nerdy. <laughs> Oh n- yeah, now yeah. the line has been crossed. <laughs> no, it's, so like, so like, at Fucking no point, hard game bitch over here. At no point in the in the watching your Marvel movies where you're like, well, now I gotta stop watching this movie because they had a flashback and go watch <laughs> another one. <laughs> but you're like, Shit. I'm gonna finish halfway through this game and then stop it and you beat this up other as game. Fucking Woody this weekend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that was me. Uh, you're right. You're, and I don't believe it was Andy. You're right. Ever I did girl. have Andy's name on the bottom of my boot, though. <laughs> Goddamn straight you did. Yeah, he also has a tattooed on his ass. Oh, yeah. We could Got uh, a tramp stamp that says you got a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be like right on my butt cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> so then they know the friend is me. All right, guys. I've got only gaming news because Tam is in a hurry. Well, okay. that's cool. I mean, we're mostly gaming. Mostly. Sometimes we talk about fucking whatever that just was a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one do I want to play? Um, it's Eeny Meeny. Game delays, DLC, and more. Oh, I know what the ladies like. This is gaming news. Speaking of Halo reference. <laughs> I know oh, what the ladies oh, did. Yeah, that was a Halo reference. Yeah. And I didn't even think about it because I don't remember what most of these are. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. And I'm too <laughs> high to pay attention. <laughs> uh, Banjo like Kazooie it. for Smash. Oh, fuck yes. That's cool. Yeah, it was That's pretty fucking hype. I would like to say that the hero coming in is also like a thing, but who gives a shit about that? Banjo's back, baby. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> You know, switching to the hero for a moment, I, I'm not sure a lot of people realize how much Dragon Quest, like, inspired RPGs. Yeah. Like, the modern RPG. Because mm-hmm. Dragon Quest was out in Japan before Final Fantasy. And Final Fantasy took oh. a lot of cues before Dragon Quest. I didn't know that. And then Final Fantasy came to the United States before Dragon Quest. And it's the closest that people are ever going to get for Goku to be in Super Smash <laughs> yeah. Brothers. It's like fucking, I guess dude, it's a Toriyama work, whatever. Dude, the fucking main guy looks like fucking Android 17. Yeah, he does. Which oh. is great, because that's, that's my boy. <laughs> Do it for him. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Banjo Kazoo for, for, for Smash. He's going to be hype. I'm, that's a cool DLC character. I actually haven't played a Banjo Kazooie game. I have not either, but I've watched Let's Plays. They I played the first. First, I know Leapers played fucking. It's in his veins. Um, but seeing the hype <laughs> for other people, like that, was pretty fucking cool. And Grant Kirkhope, of course, was like crying about it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like, like at this point, Super Smash Brothers is like the singularity. Yeah, it's it's everything. It's a it's a party game that you can get drunk with your friends. Fucking turn everything, turn everything on, and randomize the stages, and get mad, and get happy, and cry, <laughs> happy tears and sad tears. <laughs> or it's like one of the most intricate competitive fighters you can have because of the mechanics, and it's also like the greatest catalog history of gaming at this mm. point. Like, it does. like yeah. how there's like a thousand songs, like full three minute songs. There's like like facts there's like models like i remember i remember when i was uh, trying to make a, a costume for a uh, link from the legend of zelda i didn't go online i popped in super smash brothers brawl and blew up the trophy and was like hey here's everything about this costume like it's Ooh. such it's such an it's a museum of history i it just makes me excited to see like so rare is part of microsoft now right mm-hmm. so we could technically like smudge our eyes and be like hey there's a there's a microsoft representative representation in smash now we get to like what what happens when crash bandicoot gets in or master chief or master yeah master <laughs> chief <laughs> he just starts punching pikachu just straight in the face well in uh joker's sony representation right mm-hmm. so like there was actually a part in the oh god at some point in the Banjo trailer, I think it was Joker and Banjo looking down at, like, Mario or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something, like, at, so rad. So, Joker? Joker is from Persona 5. 
not oh, not the Batman character. Yeah, that's a thing. Which we who knows we might get Joker. Just <laughs> <laughs> walking up and stabs Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got fucking his crowbar, <laughs> beating people with it. <laughs> I've killed Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Smash! Smash got dark. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. After Dark. Yeah, it's very very cool. I'm excited. But Everybody's just Smash naked Brothers. though. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Naturally, <laughs> Summer Games done quick. 2019 starts <gasps> today. Fuck yes! Oh, neat. What's your What's your favorite uh, games done quick memory? Final um, Fantasy Seven. My favorite memory is the guy who was trying to speedrun Mirror's Edge glitchless. Yeah. So he kept doing a bunch of glitches. <laughs> <laughs> and the announcer was like, that looks like a glitch. He's like, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. So my favorite one was uh, the, what, the first games quick I've ever saw was uh, the go- Goof Troop run. Two player, uh, one control, or two control, one player. And he had to hold his the one controller right side up and the other controller upside down. <laughs> and he controlled both characters. And he'd like Whoa. he'd get to a boss and flip it over because Goofy does more damage than Max. But Max <laughs> was faster. And so he'd flip and so it was some of the craziest fucking I was just like, Alright, sick, I'm watching this forever. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Like it it's crazy how cool the the goof troop is. Insane. Um, I actually have a schedule here. I'm not going to go through everything no, because no, no. there's about a thousand games here. Well, it's like a five day thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! And e- each day is fucking packed. Yeah. Um, but I will say, so this is already, this is nice. It's already converted to our time. Oh. Uh, Wowzers. Noon, our time. Spyro reignited trilogy. Ooh. So that's coming up. Oh, Tam. I'll just have my head, I'll have my headphones in. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, yeah, my niece Xandra, who loves me very much. Whatever you said, I'm watching the dragon. <laughs> Mom, shut up. <laughs> Mom, shut up. But Mom, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh today, I mean just the the beginning of it looks really kick ass. Uh Portal 2 right after that. Oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. It's like Super Mario Bros 2. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's one of those uh it's one of those things that like you forget that it happens. I saw a Facebook post about, hey, Summer's Game Done Quick coming back. And I was like, fuck yeah. It's, I have them subscribed on YouTube of the uh, Games Done Quick channel. And it's like, I always see them come up my subscription feed and I get giddy. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, exciting. Oh, geez. At 2.23 a.m. our time, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Oh, oh two. Two. Like, yeah. two. One's where it's at. Marble Madness at 6.23 a.m. on a Monday. <laughs> It's going to take him, what, 17 seconds to beat that game? <laughs> Probably. I'm just trying to see if I could find any anything that really jumps out to me as unusual. Or Another sick run that I saw was uh, beating uh, Pokemon Blue backwards. <laughs> what? So they could go into like the, the item menu and like press a certain code, and it would rewrite the code of the game and would teleport them to a specific spot. And so it teleported them to right in front of Mewtwo, and they used a Master Ball. And then using Mewtwo, wiped the rest of the 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 gym leaders going backwards. <laughs> Did he start with the Elite start Four? Start with Giovanni. Then? Oh, okay, <laughs> Giovanni. Because oh, you yeah, the Elite you Four, the you win the game. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Huh. Um, speaking of Pokemon, uh, looks like Crystal is tomorrow. Ooh. Super Mario Sunshine, the uh, late tomorrow. Uh, Shrek Extra Large, 2.26 a.m. on Tuesday. <laughs> Do you think Sunshine's going to look as cool as, a, uh, as like... We remembered? No, no, no. <laughs> well, duh, it will, of course. Uh, do you think it's going to look as good as, like, a uh, Super Mario 64 speed ran? I kind of, I find, kind of feel like that mm. game's going to look fucking phenomenal with all the, the sick hoses and yeah. all the... Because, like, all the movement's still from 64 in there. Yeah, um... Yeah, I think it would. I mean, I, if it's I, the if it's like sixty four but updated. But. Yeah, I, I'm excited for that one actually. That sounds Ooh, like Kirby sixty four is on here. Uh, Looney oh, Tunes man, late on Wednesday. Is that the name of the game? Late on Wednesday. Because <laughs> 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 we got some Super Bomberman two, some Cave Story, Super Mario World, uh, Grand Poo World two, fantastic. Well, I've already set my notifications. <laughs> Rang that bell. Oh, Half Life, Half Life two. Ooh. 
Oh, Minecraft. Right afterwards, they're announcing Half Life Three at the how event. How do you how do you speed run Minecraft? I think I think you just run to the Ender Dragon and kill it. Oh, okay. Even though technically you can't like end that game. All right. Dark Souls. That'll be interesting. Let's see, we're on Saturday now. Um, <gasps> Command and Conquer Red Alert Three. SpongeBob <gasps> SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Sweet. Super Mario World again. Wow. And then Sunday, June 30th, it looks like they have something called Finale, The End. Wonder huh. what that could be. <laughs> Wonder, probably Super Metroid. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, fucking, I'll probably just have that on one of my monitors playing in the background all week. Yeah. If not, you can find them, like I said, their YouTube page. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Um, Game's done quick. Although there there is baseball tomorrow and Tuesday. Okay. Uh, that's and neat. And maybe Wednesday. Quake? The OG Quake. Uh, Gears 5 is the latest game to drop paid loot boxes ahead of potential legislation. To drop? All right, that's cool. No season pass, DLC maps are free, <laughs> no gear packs, all store purchases are direct. Hey, did you see that uh, the Master Chief collection on PC is going to be like 10 bucks a game? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, sure did. Yeah. <laughs> so, at the end, it'll just be another full price game. Yeah. Which I'm sure will be really fun for the people that still have it on Xbox. <laughs> yeah. And want to switch to PC. I, uh... I'm happy but sad at the same time when it comes to loot boxes. I think I think loot boxes are a really interesting, neat way to, like, reward players. They are interesting. But the issue is you having actual cash involved. And, and also and hiding, it, like, gameplay behind them. You can hide gameplay behind them. So the only loot boxes I've ever had was Overwatch. So everything there was aesthetic. Um, See, that's that's done. Those are loot boxes done right. Yeah. Well, there's also the gambling problem that people yeah, have. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like the fact like that real money is involved. Um, Shadow it, of War used to have loot boxes, and there was there was the more loot boxes you bought, the easier the game is for you. Lame. They got rid of them though. That's good. And before all this, they got rid of them before there was even talk of legislation. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely you could buy a loot box and you get like some badass orc in there and he's like, let's go kill something. And you're like, okay, I'm going to stash you away in my army and never use you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, loot boxes, very divisive. Still, I still like when I earn one in Overwatch and like you get something kick ass out of it. That's yeah, it, like, it, it's, a, it's a good. Good feeling for and sure. Then, and then when it's like a special event, you're like, "Here's forty bucks." <laughs> <laughs> Here's forty dollars. <laughs> I mean, but at the same time, like, it it is a way. Like, if it wasn't, if people just like didn't have vices, you know, <laughs> this would be awesome. Like, yeah, I'd love to give this this person who who is still working on this game. Yeah, I'll give them an extra twenty dollars because they give me they've a whole team designed all of these. Uh, skins and all these sprays and like that wasn't that wasn't two minutes worth of work right mm -hmm. so like the issue is is I'm 14 and <laughs> I've stolen my mom's credit card and yeah. man if I am not gonna get a sick gun or sick skin for my reaper costume who is my who is <laughs> my spirit animal <laughs> as a 14 year old <laughs> <laughs> my mom just doesn't understand uh, CD Projekt Red reiterates that all of Witcher 3 will fit on one cart for the Switch. Hell yeah. That's that's impressive. pretty damn impressive. The Switch is sick, dude. Considering how those cartridges usually aren't that big. The man. Switch is sick. And you usually have to, like... Psych, God, it's like a custom what? 64 gig. Um, it's, 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 it's a 32 gig game cart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which includes all 16 micro DLCs. Two expansions and the full game. Well, they'll have to be micro. Look how small that cart is. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, that's cool. That like, I very, I have to get a switch now. Like I have to. They've announced the next Zelda game, and so I have to get a switch just for them to make it for the next system. <laughs> I know. I, got, I gotta get a switch. Yeah, I want one really bad. I gotta get a switch because Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three is coming out. There's a lot of sick games that I'd like to play. Yeah, and of course Smash Bros. I mean, if you get one, yeah, you can't not. That's get Smash that's Bros. the main reason I want to switch. Is that Smash Bros. was good with a uh, with two people in my uh, house currently having Super Smash Brothers. I don't think I'm gonna get it right away. 
I would say I'd get it when they're on sale, but it's a Nintendo game. They don't do that. <laughs> sale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know why they don't do that, Andy? Why? Because their games are always good. Yeah. You put sales in games that are past their prime. Uh, I didn't see any sales on Fallout 76. They were just giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Minecraft story mode. Game servers will go down on June 25th because Telltale is rip. Yeah. Why do they need game servers? What the fuck do they need game servers for for that game? It's probably an always online game. Uh, that's weak. So you can tweet out what decisions you made in Minecraft. Um, but you can now buy each episode of Minecraft story mode for $100 each. On Xbox 360. What? That is not a fucking joke. 100? It's something done to deter people from actually <laughs> buying the game. <laughs> Just take it off the store. Yeah. They're going to on June 25th. That's crazy. Or take it off now. So if you really want all of Minecraft story mode digitally right now to fulfill that dream... You will need to drop one thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! There's somebody that's gonna fucking oh, do that. Of course, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> I need, I need this right now. It's a thing I can do. Is it bad that that was the first rich, evil person I thought of? <laughs> I kind of, yeah. All right. I did use the uh, evil. I did use that word. You did. I did use the word evil. Uh, after Can't... nearly six years, GTA Online is getting its first casino. Yeah. I remember so. like two stories ago we talked about vices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does GTA do loot boxes? Oh yeah. Can shark. you pay for money well, for it's money? Not, it's, it's not loot boxes. It's like shark cards that yeah. give you money. Yeah, you just buy in-game currency. So if, yeah, if you really want to. Oh. And so it's, it's very direct. <laughs> yeah. It. Oh. <laughs> so we need to let's see if it says when the fuck it is. Hey, how much is a switch regu regularly? Two, three hundred bucks. Because here's the Nintendo Switch console and 12 months of Switch Online for $268. That's pretty good. That is pretty good deal. The 12 months of online is honestly, it's I think it's like 20 bucks for a year. Yeah. So yeah, like, it's, pretty cheap. that's nothing. I have hit this uh, conundrum though, even though we're not talking about the story Matt just talked about, of like, do I get a Switch now and play these cool games? Or I know they're going to announce a cool Legend of Zelda Switch. Oh. I know they are. Yeah, they have that makes to. sense. So do I just wait and get this sick ass Legend of Zelda Switch? Play the waiting game. Because like, there's a Link's Awakening, which looks holy shit, amaze ball. Oh my god, that game looks so beautiful. Have you seen anything for it? Yes, the the kind of like top down. Yeah. One. yeah. Oh my god, it looks pretty. If they have one of those, I'd be down for that too. Sir, but you like, need to put your penis away at Walmart. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's the Master Sword! <laughs> <laughs> Come grab your destiny! <laughs> it's dangerous to... It's dangerous out there! Take us with you! Wow, you could have butchered that more. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> I know, I know! <laughs> that's, I mean, we can cut this in post. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> no, don't cut it. Let, let my yeah. failure. A casino seems uh, real sketchy in a place where you can buy real real uh, currency. Yep. Like it sure fucking does. Yeah. And it also is Grand Theft Auto, so it's going to be like $3,000 to make a bet. I'm, I'm not sure I've ever bought money in GTA. Me neither. I've taken up like the link your account and get so yeah, many fucking yeah, I've done shark that. cards. But when it drops, I'm definitely going to be gambling. <laughs> yeah. we, we should pick this game up again. All right. do, do you... I always have it installed because it's fucking massive. Yeah, me too. I have it s installed on an SSD. I feel like Grand Theft Auto is making like Jeff Bezos money at this point, right? It is the most pr uh, not productive. <laughs> it is the best selling game ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. When, yeah. When it came out, it made. And so, like, who in the boardroom six years later. was just like, "We need more money." What? Well, how could we? What's a What's a good gameplay loop we can get them? Slot machines. <laughs> <laughs> slot. We could do slot I mean, machines. To this day, online's still making them like hundreds of millions. Yeah. It's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. This. You know, when it comes to legislation. <laughs> Paying real money for fake money, and even if you win, you're not getting that real money back. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's it's a surprise mechanic. That's like that's double gambling. Yeah, it's <laughs> like it's like 
terrible gambling with extra steps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like... Just real gamble. It's like the meth to real gambling's cocaine. What a beauty... I want to say this as a, as a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, finally, last story we got here. It took seven months, but Fallout 76 fans who dropped the money for the Power Armor Edition are finally getting their canvas bags. They got their bags! I thought you were going to say no one played anymore, or like the last <laughs> active player. Um, as a quick refresher, players can order a Power Armor Edition of the game for around $200. Um, one of the things was a canvas West Tech duffel bag. However, when the game shipped, those who had pre-ordered it just got a cheap nylon replacement, along with $5 of in-game currency. <laughs> We're sorry. Uh, rubbing salt in the wound, influencers started showing off their awesome Fallout 76 bags received free from Bethesda. And weren't they canvas ones? Or yeah. no, they were like different canvas ones, weren't they? They they were definitely way better than the nylon. Yeah. So they finally finally put those bags out after fucking seven months of this bullshit. That's fucking stupid. They could have just fixed that or, like, just put them out in the first place and they wouldn't have to deal with any of this shit. Yes, that is true. I kind of feel like they're not hurting for money, though, right? It's so like Bethesda. No, yeah. There's no way yeah. they're hurting for money. Yeah, Bethesda's doing just fine. I think, like, even even with, like, the misstep of 76. Like, their name their name is trashed. Yeah, a, yeah, a bit. Yeah, they've been tarnished. I don't Bethesda, like Bethesda used to be one of my favorite developers, yeah. and then they just like like I wouldn't question a Bethesda game. Here's this abomination. It's like, Here, guys, what happened? Yes. The, I think the issue is is like they were so innovative when they first came out. Like when you see like when you see Fallout Three, it was like holy shit, I've never seen anything like this. When you see like oh, the Elder cool. Scroll games, like Skyrim, holy fuck. Do you do you think they got too big for their britches? I think that the rest of the the rest of gaming grew up. Right, oh, in the I, you well, you compare you compare Skyrim to Witcher, and it's like yeah, Wit Witcher. I I've never played Witcher. I played a bunch of Skyrim. I want I'd love to play Witcher because of how much they people are like. Hey, it's Skyrim, but it doesn't blow. Well, and Bethesda's engine is old. Yeah, right. I, that's what old. I was gonna say. They need to. They need a new fucking engine like Pronto. I think if they want to stay in the game, it. If you're listening, Bethesda, to, <laughs> yeah, to us. If you're listening right now, F fix the. They've got the Telltale problem. Fix the engine, make that shit actually work, and then let people be as creative as they can possibly be. You tell great stories inside, like like some of the some they of the do. coolest coolest things that you do is like the little submissions inside of these games, like super super rad. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they need a new engine really bad. Fallout 4 was only fine, and then 76 was terrible. Come yeah. come, come! hit a grand slam. Knock, knock one home for me. <laughs> I did see in the expansion, they went back to old Fallout, though, where uh, your character doesn't talk. Like, you actually have text options now. Interesting. Which is pretty cool. Hmm. I actually didn't mind the talking. I didn't either, but I, I, liked, I liked the text options in the old ones. You just take the text options and record a voice for each one of them. Yeah, but each of the each like it felt like it felt like I only had two of the four choices. Like yeah. these two would give me this response. These two would give me this response. Actually, it wasn't actually like, I've I've been playing Mass Effect too, and um, I've I filled out the whole Paragon meter so I can always you know be the good guy. Oh, okay. and now that it's filled out, I'm like, why don't I just start doing some Renegade options? <laughs> yeah. So like I. I was following someone in a stock boy. I was like, wait, you're not supposed to be here. And I like backfisted him and kept going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways. Guys, I'm a good guy. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it for the podcast. Give Tam some time to fucking get out of here. Uh, remember to check us out on YouTube, 3 Hit Combo Podcast. Facebook, 3 Hit Combo Podcast. Email us at 3 combo podcast gmail.com. And you know we're never on Twitter, so whatever. Oh, my parents just canceled. We could have gone for two more two more hours. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Your parents wouldn't cancel. They love you too much. You caught me in my lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for Tam and Andy, this is Matt signing out.